morning um just wanted to post another video about coronavirus and i'm realizing about how it's affecting fear and law of attraction etc etc so when i notice what's happening with the coronavirus is as with all fear fear dictates our behavior um and it's become very powerful this coronavirus so it's a mic sorry it's a macrocosm of the microcosm of what we do every day with fear so because it's a global thing it seems a mass i want to call it hallucination anyway um look at what it's doing to us so for example with the bulk buying the unnecessary bulk buying it's turned us into those egos that say i don't care about you i'm going to take all of the toilet roll off the shelf and i don't care about you so it's enforcing the separation it's enforcing it's a dog eat dog world and i need to survive and i'm going to be you know this terrible person to survive and then now the government which obviously is our projection is dictating to us where we can go and what we can do and who we can see and all of these kinds of things and that's so we're only allowing that because we're in such fear we're allowing them to use that fear against us and that's what we do every day of our lives we make those decisions based on fear <clears throat> and it control then has the power to control us and then i was thinking about my sister so just a little bit of background my sister was has a fantastic life and has a villa in spain and last summer she spent most of it out there just drinking and socializing and enjoying her life and then ever since she's come back everything in her words has gone wrong and it came to a peak last week where she was really really depressed and every literally it looked like everything was going wrong for her and she said why can't my life be like it was last year yeah, everything was perfect and I found myself saying to her yeah boring weren't it and took her a while for, to respond and then she said to me actually do you know what I remember laying there on the lounger thinking there must be more to life than this well if you think about what's happening there she had the peace of God she had everything she, everything was peaceful and perfect and then in comes the ego and tells her this is wrong by turning her thoughts to boredom boredom is a powerful tool of the ego because we can't seem to bear being bored it's a waste of life etc etc so the ego successfully removed her from god removed her from the peace of god and what she basically asked for with law of attraction was to be unpeaceful to have everything not go right and exact that's exactly what she manifested and then it made me think about my life and why i've created the coronavirus in my life and i realized that exactly the same my life recently is 99.999% absolute peace everything's going right i have no worries whatsoever no problems not a single problem and I, I noticed with Brexit, I got into really being excited by Brexit. There was an underlying knowledge that it will all work out in the end. So it wasn't from fear, but it was from excitement, something different, something to focus on, thinking, playing that game of how will it work out or not, even though underneath I knew it would work out perfectly. And it's the same with coronavirus. I have no fear. I know it won't. I'm not a body, it can't attack me, I, I don't believe in it, you know, all of these kinds of things. And yet here I am excited to watch the news, excited by what's happening, etc, etc. And suddenly I realised, oh my God, it's such short-term gain, that few minutes on the news of excitement, listening about what's happening in the world, to the long-term loss. And that's what the ego does. Oh, just have that cake. You'll, you'll feel really good. You know, that short-term gain and then 
beating yourself up for weeks for eating it and you've ruined the diet and you're a failure and all of that kind of stuff so the ego loves short-term gain for long-term loss and that's exactly what i'm finding with coronavirus the short-term excitement of you know something happening and maybe you know i'll get some time off work and all of this but really that's such a long-term loss because i've just stepped away from god my whole life is of course the miracles is about moving towards God, being free from this illusion and everything. And look how quickly and easily I give it up for just another illusion. And now I've caught myself, I've realised actually the long-term loss is because I'm due to go to Spain for a wonderful holiday um, in April. And is this little bit of excitement worth losing out that wonderful holiday that I feel I need and I want so much? And suddenly the realisation of that is, no, the answer is no, a resounding no. So I am going to stop paying attention to it so that law of attraction will take it away from my vision and I will remain in the peace of God. Hope that helps you. Please like, subscribe and share and comment. Love your comments. Um, speak soon.